Hi there, Jacqueline. Great to meet you. Hi, great to meet you too. And congratulations on Queer as Folk. I really loved um, like every moment of this series. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. So um, tell me a little bit about um, your relationship with the original uh, Queer as Folk series um, before you came involved in this. And what was the draw of being involved in this reimagined version as a uh, writer and executive producer? Yeah, I mean, I, so the original show, obviously, uh, particularly the original British show, um, meant so much to me. It's just like that kind of punk rock, like queerness is something that as a closeted kid in Ohio, I did not, I mean, just the queerness of it, I didn't really see anywhere and let alone like a really defiant, you know, I just loved it. Um, and then obviously there's also the, like, you played it really quiet and it was, you know, maybe a substitute for things that the internet would eventually make much, much more common. Um, but so when, uh, but I, I, you know, I love the show. And then as I grew older, um, you know, the, it, it stayed just like kind of a meaningful part of my past. Um, when the opportunity came to be involved in this version, I will admit my first instinct was no thank you when my agent asked me, just because I was like, well, I, that show exists twice already and is, uh, you know, they've, they've done it. And she, she pushed me to just read the script and I read Steven's pilot script and I fell so hard in love with these characters and the setting and just, I don't know, it, it became really self-evident why remaking the, or reimagining the show made so much sense. And then I felt dumb because I'm a theater kid and I'm like, well, yeah, we do revivals constantly because, you know, uh, whatever, Arthur Miller, A View from the Bridge means a lot, means something different in 19, seeing a production in the seventies versus seeing the production today. Um, and so similarly, it felt really great to get to be a part of telling a story about what queerness looks like today and how it's not all, you know, uh, the, you know, it was defiant in its time, but it was also a pretty homogenous view of, of queerness and getting to, you know, as much as I saw parts of myself in it, I was a baby trans girl. So I, I definitely uh, getting getting to include that kind of storytelling now means so much to me. And Jesse James Cartel told me that um, when it came to episode six, getting to see the young Ruthie was something that, um, you know, she, she was keen to do with, with, the, um, with the character. Can yes. you give a little bit of an insight into, um, into being involved in writing that and yeah. why, why you thought it was sort of powerful to, um, to look back? And it's, it was all very delicately handled, I think, and, and, and very powerful. Thank you. That, so that story, this, the flashback story in that episode is, is uh, very autobiographical. I went to an all boy Catholic high school um, that we recreated in a lot of ways uh, down to the jug card for detention, the justice under God, that is a staple of my high school, um, the uniforms, everything. And honestly, um, I will admit I was hesitant about Jesse playing that part at first, not because I didn't think Jesse could do it. I think she's one of the best actresses I've ever known, worked with, and, I, I, and she's obviously a dear friend and collaborator too at this point, my sister, but um, I wasn't sure I wanted to see Jesse uh, like that, uh, if that makes sense. And I, um, and it was really painful for me to come to set and produce those, ep produce that episode and see, you know, see my beautiful, you know, my beautiful friend uh, look a lot like what I looked like. I mean, that character styled the way I was, my hair and how I dressed uh, in that time. The music they listened to was the music I listened to at the time. And it was a really hard thing to do, but Jesse, um, you know, we had talked about maybe having a, a younger non-binary actor play that part. And, and when Jesse came to me, kind of just girl to girl, friend to friend was like, if you don't let me do this, I'll murder you. <laughs> and I, and she said it nicer than that, but only a little bit. Um, and uh, we, but no, and we, we had a really great conversation about it where we kind of expressed our things. And, and at the end of that conversation, I was just like, she's the only person that can, can do this. And the truth is, and she's right, you know, telling before and after stories of transition is a dicey thing. Mostly, 
because it's the story that cis people have told about trans people the most um, and usually casting cis people to play the parts um, and with a cis lens. And um, it was very important to me to tell that story because that's part of my, that's my story. It's, I mean, the monologues in that episode are my youthful experience. Like that's my, what my life is and was. And I, as an artist, I feel like it's, especially as a trans artist, I think it's our duty to tell all of our story and not, not all of our story, meaning, you know, we all share the same story, but to tell every aspect of our story and to that that's all fair game and that's all worthy of, of narrative. And once I spoke to Jesse about it and Jesse rightly said, you know, they never let us play this part. They never let us do this. And as soon as she said that I was a hundred percent in and became her fiercest advocate and in, in making sure she got to play that part. And thanks to our wonderful hair and makeup team, uh, they did, you know, truly, truly incredible work to, to make that transformation happen. Um, and yeah, it, it, I'm so proud of that episode. I, it's, uh, it's very close to my, it's very close to my heart and, and getting to tell that story with Jesse the whole way through really just, uh, is, is probably honestly the greatest moment of my career, uh, to this point. I, I it just means so much to me. Well, it's a really impactful piece of um, television and con congratulations, Jacqueline Moore, and uh, look forward to talking to you again. <laughs> oh, so please. Much. Yes. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>